The more I understand grieving, the more I see its wisdom. Grieving hurts, yet it's a powerful teacher about love and living. Grieving is the process we go through to emotionally accept the loss. And can you think of any emotional pain that isn't caused by loss? Well, I can't. So learning to grieve is about learning to deal with life on life's terms, which makes it a core skill for emotional intelligence. We experience loss because we become attached. We expect things to be a certain way. We think we're in control. We think we have it all figured out. But then life comes and in the blink of an eye delivers us an unexpected loss and we suffer. We resist the loss and throw tantrums to try to undo the loss. But ultimately we must allow ourselves to grieve in order to heal, grow, and find our way back to life. Loss is as much a part of life as joy, and yet many of us do whatever it takes to push away the pain of loss. We may try to drink our pain away, or work our pain away, or eat our pain away, but the pain of loss does not go away. It just waits to claim its place on our stage until we are too worn out from compulsive avoiding to resist anymore. Thus, learning to grieve teaches us how to cope with a part of life we prefer to deny, and in the process, we learn that joy and sorrow are two sides of the same coin. In other words, grieving teaches us wisdom. I lost my 21-year-old daughter to a tragic accident, and about one year later we planted a memorial tree, a weeping willow, her favorite tree. I wrote a poem for the tree planting ceremony, which I will read now. This Weeping Willow. This weeping willow will reach for the sky. Its long falling branches for Jessica will cry. Rising to the stars, weeping to the ground. Everything's mixed up, a smile and a frown. There would be no up if not for down. There would be no silence if not for sound. There would be no joy if not for sadness. There would be no life if not for death. This weeping willow knows so well the happy sad world in which we dwell. Jessica brought me sweet joy and wonder. Now I'm learning to live without her. She taught me a lot in her few years, loving her through the joy and tears waiting for the precious day to arrive when the task of her youth would subside. This weeping willow sees more than I, understanding the seasons and the why, accepting the cycles we must all go through, celebrating the sunshine and the storms too. Like the weeping willow, Jess reached for the sky. Like some of its branches, she fell to die. Gone from this earth to the mysterious side, perhaps to become an invisible guide. So here and now her sacred ashes are strewn, beneath this wise willow married to the ground, loving, nourishing, giving life and rebirth as sweet Jessica is returned to the earth. My darling Jessica, I love you ever so. I must accept that it is not for me to know through the blessings and the pain, through the rainbow and the rain, through the smiles and the tears, through the love and the fears, never to return to what was then, but to go on living as best I can. This weeping willow will reach for the sky. Its long falling branches for Jessica will cry. Rising to the stars, falling to the ground, everything's mixed up, a smile and a frown. There would be no up if not for down. There would be no silence if not for sound. There would be no joy if not for sadness. There would be no life if not for death. Grieving is the process we go through to emotionally accept the loss. Acceptance is wisdom. Wisdom is grieving. If you found this video helpful, please click the thumbs up button. And if you want to hear more from me, then click the subscribe button at the bottom right corner of the screen. And finally, keep paying attention to your life.
Until next time.